During an outdoor press conference on Tuesday, controversial Congresswoman Ilhan Omar DMN, addressed the ongoing calls to reform America's criminal justice system. But she didn't stop there, she also called for tearing down other systems of economic oppression that are embedded within the American economy. We can't stop at criminal justice reform or policing reform, Omar said on Tuesday. We are not merely fighting to tear down the systems of oppression in the criminal justice system. We are fighting to tear down systems of oppression that exist in housing, in education, in health care, in employment, and in the air we breathe. Omar, along with Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez DNY, Rep. Rashida Tlaib DMI, and Rep. Ayanna Presley DMA, has been referred to derisively as a member of the squad by President Trump and his allies. Her political positions often draw fierce criticism from right-wing politicians and media outlets, and her comments on Tuesday will likely only add more fuel to those critiques. As long as our economy and political systems prioritize profit without considering who is profiting, who is being shut out, we will perpetuate this inequality," Omar said at the press conference. So we cannot stop at the criminal justice system. We must begin the work of dismantling the whole system of oppression wherever we find it. Omar's comments come at time when the nation is gripped with protests over police violence, as well as the broader debate about the role racial inequality plays in American society. In a matter of months, the country has grappled with evidence of systemic racism in politics, business, sports and entertainment, sometimes with deeply polarizing results. As a result, U.S. attitudes related to police reform are dramatically shifting, with a vast majority of Americans agreeing that at least some police reform is necessary. Nonetheless, Omar's comments will no doubt challenge Americans' opinions of just how far they are willing to go to address systemic racism. The overwhelming evidence of economic racial inequality in America, however, is deeply troubling. The average white family possesses approximately 10 times the amount of wealth as the average black family, and white college graduates have more than seven times the wealth of black college graduates. Amidst the pandemic, black unemployment rates in May were disproportionately higher, with 16.8% of black Americans being unemployed, as opposed to 12.4% of white individuals. Black Americans are also almost twice as likely as white Americans to lack health insurance, according to the U Bureau of Labor Statistics. Amidst the coronavirus pandemic, this fact, along with overall health disparities among Americans, means that black individuals are dying at a disproportionately greater rate than white Americans, representing 23% of the deaths from the virus despite only making up 17.7% of the population.